and me are back what's up hi guys i am back with another fashion haul in honor of my very first clothing haul getting over a thousand followers i thought i'd do another one for my 32 subscribers Okay, so let's get started. So I want to do accessories first. I got a few bags. I actually got four bags. But mind you, this has been in a few months span, okay? So I'm not like super crazy spending. Actually, that's a lie. I've been spending a lot per usual, but I'm going to show you anyways. So the first one is this clear kind of like a grocery bag but it this is like a perfect beach summer bag where you can kind of put like aesthetically looking stuff in it or you can put like a towel and just throw it in the beach because it's like plastic so it's not going to get damaged and i got this from yes style um the quality isn't so great but i paid like four dollars for it so i don't really expect much and i have no idea what it says i don't know what this means it's a c-f-l-i-z perfect for the summer i also got another it's like a canvas tote and it just says bonjour on it and everything is like white and it has very thin straps it's like pretty wide but this is also from yes style and again it's just one of those bags you can carry anywhere anytime and it's super easy and you can put a lot of stuff in it this bag is from madewell it's the medium transport tote this one doesn't have as any zippers so here it has a pocket and there's another front pocket here and then a long strap pretty self-explanatory so yes this is a fanny pack so this one i feel like you can just use anytime too so this one comes with two pockets and this is kind of like a dupe for the alexander mcqueen one the one with the chains but yes we love a good fanny pack my last bag is this Tory Burch bag. It's a very simple, like, elegant little bag with a little wallet thing on the side. I actually got this one as a gift, so I have yet to use it. But it's just a perfect, like, dinnerware going out, like a fancy night out bag. So I'm excited to use this too. I have a few pouches that I also got from Madewell. This is just... There are like mini totes. This is, I usually carry this with like passports, cards when I'm going, when I'm traveling. It's really convenient just to have all your important documents and any kind of paper in one little section in your bag. And I also have a mini version. It's a little mini coin purse. It was like 10 bucks. got on sale. Lit. I also got three of these headband, scarf, bag, handkerchiefs, etc. I don't know what they're necessarily called, but they're very, you can wear it around your neck, you can tie it in your hair, you can wear it as a headband. This is the third one. I know I got three, but they were on sale for $5, so it's perfect for the summer. I didn't get many like jewelry pieces, I only have one. Oh, I have two. One I'm wearing right now, it's this top ring. Let me do one of these. One of these little jewelry, it's a ring from Madewell as well, and also these earrings where the blue is on the bottom here, and on this side, it's on the top. So it's just like a little reverse earring that I thought was okay, cute. So moving on to shoes. This one I got for as a gift for my birthday. They're just classic white canvas vans, slip-on vans. I also got these Puma, California Puma ones with a little Puma on the back. This was also a gift. I also got these white mules slash loafers this is my third pair of these kind of shoes and i love them this one is a little bit uncomfortable i wore this for like a business event and it freaking hurt my feet so hopefully i can break them in a little more and it'll be more comfortable but yeah this is also from madewell and i didn't realize until i was like organizing all my stuff that all my shoes are white but you can never have too many white shoes am i right Another accessory is this belt I got from Lulu's. It was five bucks, it was on sale. And I like how there's like two little buckles. Yeah, this is like a snake faux fur, fur, faux leather 
belt. I also got this little top. It's a bathing suit top, but I think it's a, I'd rather wear it as just like a summer piece because it is a little bit long for a bathing suit for me personally. And the straps come off, but this is from Aerie. And I got the matching bottom. It's like a high-waisted bathing suit. And it's like ribbed. I know I said this is a spring haul, but I've gathered a few winter pieces or like fall pieces. So I'm just gonna show those. The so first one is this teddy coat. It looks really orange on screen, but it's actually more like more brown tone, like a brownish orange or like a burnt orange. I think the screen makes it look like super orange, but it's so soft. It's from Billabong. I'm actually surprised that they sell stuff like this because they're like a surf brand, but I don't know, maybe it's like surf people wear this after when it gets cold outside. Like perfect for a fire, um, like a bonfire, you know? But honestly, it's not thick enough to wear as a winter coat on its own. I would say this is more just kind of like a thick sweater, so I wouldn't, you can't really replace this as a winter coat or you will freeze to death. But it is so soft. And it was actually so hard to find. It was sold out everywhere and I managed to find the last one, who knows how. But thank God I did because the shiz is amazing. I recommend it, all right? This guy is one of my favorites. It's a brown tannish blazer from Pull and Bear. I've been very into this blazer trend these days. It has shoulder pads in it. This one's not removable, but it's not that noticeable. It just gives a little definition to your shoulders and like a more precise shape. But the buttons are a little low. I can you can see in the little try on, and I like the fit of it. It's just very loose fitting. I like to wear this with um, a white sweatshirt under, so I can like. Um, Make it a little more casual. Yeah, but I got this from Pull and Bear. I got it in Italy when I was on a business trip. So they don't have Pull and Bear in US like stores, but they do have it. You can buy it online. I do. I think it is a little more expensive online. So if you're ever in a different country where you, there's a Pull and Bear, I highly recommend going there because I really like their pieces. I have sweatshirts, just simple sweatshirts. This is. A Tommy Jeans crew neck from Urban. I got this on sale as well. This is a size small. I think they're guy sizes, but I do like oversized sweatshirts anyway, so. Another sweatshirt I got, a sweater I got, is this one. I really like this design. It's like very artsy fartsy, you know? And this one is from Yes Style. The quality isn't that good because honestly, Yes Style isn't high quality clothes so I wasn't really expecting much anyways but it's like a little bit of a balloon sleeve the bottom's asymmetrical but it, they didn't like you can see that it's like poorly made but again you're not paying too much for it anyways you're paying I got this for like $15 and it's pretty it's pretty warm so last sweater I got this is a knit one from the brand Penguin but I got this from TJ Maxx and it's just a tan a light tannish beige sweater that you can kind of dress up or dress down with wear it with a pair of jeans you know okay i got this another turtleneck from madewell if you see my other videos i have similar ones just different prints and this one would look really good with the sweater i just showed before i wore those together with like black jeans and i'm honestly I'm sorry about the try-ons, I got a little lazy and the outfits that I paired it with weren't too cute, but you get the gist, you know? This guy, just a white plain tee. This is the North... Uh, this is the North Side t-shirt from Madewell. Apparently it was in like Martha Stewart's magazine that this is one of her favorite plain white tees, so if you're interested. Great quality white t-shirt. I got two of them. Highly recommend. I also got this striped one. Um, I never wore it, but it's also a Madewell shirt. It's black and white stripe with a little white collar. And lastly, in the t-shirts, just a big white. What? 
just a yellow shirt with this cute little print on the back. It says Seoul and there's like four little guys sitting in chairs. Again, the quality isn't that great, but it's honestly just a t-shirt, so get what you pay for. I also got this blouse. I feel like no one watches clothing hauls to look at blouses, but I'll show it to you anyways. I needed some business casual clothes and I got this from Express. It has balloon sleeves too. No one cares about this, okay? So next, I got this super cute skirt from Pull and Bear. It's very like clueless sheer vibes. There's little buttons on here and then it just zip up. It's like stretchy material, so. Is it stretchy actually? Okay, it's kind of stretchy a little bit. I think this is gonna be a really popular print for this summer. I got two pants from Zara. They're it's this plaid one. Kinda looks like pajamas, but they're not. I actually wore this out once and someone was like, why are you wearing pajamas outside? Like what? This is trendy! Ugh! Uncultured. I like clothes with patterns on it because it just makes your outfit look like you tried so much harder when you didn't. Like you can literally wear a t-shirt with this and it looks like you tried, like you know? And I also got this one. This one's more like dress up, but it actually has a like a stretchy waistband here, elastic waistband. And it's honestly, this is an extra small, but it's kind of big. Like it's way more baggy than I thought it would be and a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, if you wear it with the right outfit, it looks fine. Um, the one I tried on with the clothing haul, honestly, it looks like trash, okay? But again, I got lazy, so I'm sorry. But I think this kind of pant, when it's too loose on the bottom, you should wear something tight on top to like balance it out. I got two pairs of overalls, again, both from Madewell. This is just a classic light denim overall. I look like a farm girl wearing this, so I feel like, I'll, again, I have to wear something super loose. I mean, super tight on the inside. I feel like this would be a perfect like bathing suit cover-up. I like how it's like a looser fit, so it's not too tight. And this guy is an extra small. And I have the same one in black because I like the black color better but it's just too big and there's like a pocket in the front too. Same thing. And last but not least, the dresses. I got two dresses from PacSun and this one's this yellow button down. There's buttons in the front and I love that there are pockets. I feel like girls just like freak out over having pockets on everything, but like pockets are so essential, you know? And then there's like a little ribbon in the back or bow. I feel like you can cut this off if you don't like it, but honestly, I don't really mind it. And then it has like a little bit of a flare sleeve, I guess you can see in the try on haul, and like a little bit of a v neck. I don't know what kind of fabric this is. Oh, shiz. It's like. You see that fabric? Sorry about this lighting. Oh no. I think I chose bad lighting to film it because right in front of me, like, the sun's right there. Yeah. Then I got another Paxson dress. This one is just a little light. What color is this? Like turquoise? Blue? This is blue, right? Like a bluish, navyish purple. Three buttons on the back, but there's a zipper on the side. So you don't really, this is more just like aesthetic purposes. But it is functional, but it's just more aesthetic because the zipper, you can easily zip in and out of it. And you can adjust this ribbon part to your own preference. So it's depending on how big your boobs are. But I have no boobs, so. Just make it tight as possible. Okay, and this last dress, I didn't, I got this last year actually, but um, when I ordered it last year, it was way too tight on me. And I was like, I'm gonna lose weight to wear this dress. I'm not gonna return it. And it finally fits, barely, but I really like this too. Apparently I'm having a thing with yellow button dresses, but this is another button down one. 
and it has like a floral print and I like how this one it's like a see-through on the bottom but then there is this one part here that's like solid so the bottom is just like a very like elegantly flowy and the v-neck part is a little bit too big so I want to pin it when I get the chance because it's literally like out and about that is my only issue with this also, you probably cannot eat much in this because it is not stretchy. But I like how these sleeves are very like, they're like bell sleeves. I got this shirt also from Pull and Bear. This is another one that kind of looks like a pajama, but it's not. It's just a flannel. Um, I don't know. I feel like this flannel is just, I like this print. I feel like it's easy just to tuck it into a pair of jeans or you could even open it and wear like a tank top under and kind of make it like a blazer styled outfit. But... There's just so many ways you can wear it. You can unbutton all and just tie it in the front. But yeah, this is, it's like a three-fourth sleeve. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you want me to do more or something else. Um, I'm thinking about doing a mukbang because all my friends requested me to do it. So maybe I'll do that next or something food related. I don't know, just whatever I feel like. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, YouTube stuff, I don't know. Okay, bye!